Hi, welcome to Men on Higher Learning. Today's show is being sponsored by Zelda Robinson's Communication, home of inspiration and information. That is information for free grant money, free grant money for artists, poets, nonprofits, churches, ex offenders, and much, much more. Uh, today's show is like Men on Higher Learning. There's two men sitting here talking. Richard, one of the Richard. Uh, yes. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, thank you for yeah. having me here. I think uh, today we're going to be talking about men's health. Right. Mm -hmm. So I know you are familiar uh, with the, uh, what is that, the, uh, the health center over there? The uh, uh, Stream of Life. Stream of Life Health Center. Right, right. Yeah. Uh, have you uh, been working with uh, the Stream of Life uh, 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 people there? Yeah, uh, I started going to the Stream of Life the uh, first two months of sobriety. Mm -hmm. I had an alcohol problem. Mm -hmm. And while going to the Stream of Life, uh, the first thing I did was I got my t colon totally cleaned out. Mm -hmm. And after that, I started uh, learning a lot about health from Berlina, Ber Berlina Baker, the owner. Mm -hmm. uh, I, st I, I started reading a lot of books. Uh, and buying a lot of books from the Stream of Life and uh, and just start changing my whole way of uh, my eating habits mm -hmm. and start eating more healthy. Stop eating fried foods. Uh, one, of, one of the things I picked up was uh, I had learned from the Stream of Life that you should drink about, you, 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 the body, you should drink about a gallon of water a day. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I thought one day, I said, you know what, uh, I don't know if I drink a, a gallon of water or not. Mm -hmm. And so I said, you know what, I think I'll just drink the whole gallon and at the beginning of the day and get it out of the way. <laughs> wow. <laughs> right, <laughs> okay. crazy, right. crazy. Right. And, and, and that way I, I know I would have a gallon of water. Right. And Makes sense. <laughs> right, right. Now, it took me, uh, I, I couldn't do it right away. It took me a couple of months to build up to it. You know, I'd right. start drinking a quart and start adding on. Right. But the wonderful thing about that, I started discovering wonderful things that it does to, to the human body. Mm -hmm. You know, I started looking younger. Mm -hmm. uh, my digestive system really works remarkable. Mm -hmm. And like, you, you know how they say there's no cure for the common cold? Right. Right, well, that's not true. <laughs> I've stopped colds hundreds of times after I would drink my gallon of water and go to use the washroom in the morning. Mm -hmm. And when I step out of the washroom, like magic, the cold would disappear. Wow. Yeah. Wow, that's great. That's great. And I, now the water you drink, is it just regular faucet water or? Uh, no, not uh, distilled water. Distilled water. Okay. Distilled water. Because me right. personally, I, I drink the alkaline water, you know. And, and that's that's really good water. Yeah, because like you, me too, I, I was a drinker, you know. Uh, right. In my younger years, uh, uh, matter of fact, at 20, they, they hired me in the projects, you know, in security uh -huh. and then in the policing and, and, and right. patrolling the projects. So mostly all of us were alcoholics back then, you know. <laughs> right. This was like the end of the 70s, first of the 80s, you right. know, doing right. that. Right. And, you know, you never know when you're going to get shot out there. So, you know, we drank. And it, right. that was like a common thing. And supervisors didn't say nothing. Right. And I realized it turned me into an alcoholic, you know. And oh, yeah. I can relate to that. Uh, I'll say, like, three years ago, I went uh -huh. and had a uh, physical. And the doctor told me that I, my liver was enlarged, you know. And right. asked me how much I drink. Well, wow. I, I get off work. I like to have me going to wind me now. <laughs> right, so, right. The doctor said, well, I can you, relate to that. Yeah, he told me. So, well, you think you could just not have one to wind you down for at least six months? So I said, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, I'm going to work on that. He said, well, if you want to stay around, you got to work on that. Right. And so I've been working on it, you know. Oh, that's good. I have limited myself to maybe having my beers or having a drink we go out on something on the weekend. Uh -huh. But we're just at home sitting around. I'm not going to really be bothered with it all the time like uh -huh. I was doing. You know? Oh, well, that's good that you slowed mm -hmm. down. And, and meeting people like Miss Baker and, uh -huh. and I have a guy named Percy at the health food store that I go to. Uh -huh. He's always telling me about, you know, health issues, you know. Right. And uh, it's making me work with myself. Mm -hmm. So... Oh, well, that's good. Mm -hmm. uh, how long have you been going there to, uh, with the Stream of Life? Stream of Life, I've been going to the Stream of Life, uh, I'm 63 now. 
Wow, you uh, like your mic. <laughs> I'm 54. Uh, how old are you? 54. 54, okay. Mm -hmm. I, and, and I've been going there since I was 52. Wow. That's okay. when I quit drinking. Hmm. Right. Wow, I think I might have to go there myself then. <laughs> right. You know, it was like, wow. Right. Yeah, because, you know, nowadays, uh, Richard, we really, you know, as older black men, right. have to watch our diet. Oh, you definitely, know? definitely. Right. And, and that's, the, that, that's the one thing I've noticed, too, that's uh, a, a, a lot of black men, a lot of us, you know, haven't, don't take very good care of it. No, we don't, really. You know. We don't. And uh, changing your diet, uh, especially drinking a lot of water. Right. You know, because your body is 75% uh, water. Mm -hmm. so I was told 90% before, I don't know. <laughs> not about 70 to 75% mm -hmm. water. But, and, and I look at it like this, if, if, if your body is made of water, mm -hmm. then the more water, clean water, not right. fossil water. Right. The more water you put into your body, mm -hmm. then the better it's gonna function. Mm -hmm. You know, because your brain is 80% water. Mm -hmm. And for every function in the body, it takes water. Okay. You know. Right. And and one thing I discovered by drinking a gallon of water is that it's like most people are dehydrated mm -hmm. because they don't drink enough water. Mm -hmm. You know, they drink pop. Uh, yeah. Right. Diuretics that take water out of the body, coffee, mm -hmm. stuff like that. But I found that by drinking a lot of water, mm -hmm. first thing in the morning, I found first thing in the morning is the, is the most critical time mm -hmm. to drink a lot of water. I agree. Because when you drink a lot of water in the morning, you f you're doing two right. Mm -hmm. You're doing two very important things. Mm -hmm. You cleaning, flushing mm -hmm. all of the, you cleaning your digestive tract out from the night before because mm -hmm. food's still in your digestive tract, and you are hydrating your body. Mm -hmm. You know, and and when your body is hydrated, mm -hmm. then it, seventy percent of your immune system is in your digestive tract. So a lot of water gives you a strong immune system. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, right. And that's what we need, man. Like you said, most black men, we don't do it, man. But brothers, you need to start taking better care of yourselves, you know? Absolutely. Uh, especially if you got kids, you want to see your grandkids grow up. And, and just to be lived, period. Right. You know, you know. I know when I was talking with Miss Baker, uh -huh. she asked me a question about how long you expect to live or something along those <laughs> lines. I told her forever. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, well, that's right. a good answer. Right. To that, but really, people you should say, you should say it's like people might say they want to live 80 years uh -huh. and expect to live. She, she said, well, you should double that. And right. And I said, you know, that put a lot on my mind. You know? Right. I right. Said, so you think big along and work on it, it's not bound to happen. Huh? Oh, yeah. And, 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 and like she said, the, the higher, the more years, if you double it, Mm -hmm. then you try harder to, and, 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 and that'll extend your life right there. Right, right. So I was like, man, I, I think I'm going to start, I'm going to check out the stream of life. Oh, um, yeah, definitely. I'm going to have to check it out. As well as I want to get some of that literature and send to my mom. Because, uh -huh. you know, I have the diabetes in my family. I oh, think that okay. run in black families pretty strong anyway. Right? Yeah, diabetes. yeah. I, I think it's, uh, uh, it's uh, diabetes is... Uh, it's it's on it's 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 hitting so many families. Yeah. It's, it's like epidemic right yeah. now. Yeah, nowadays, you know. Yeah, because uh, every obesity, diabetes, oh, yeah. uh, what else? All kind of illnesses. From right. The, and really, like you say, it's from the consumptions, what you, the foods that you put in your body. Right, and not and not drinking enough water. Like, not drinking enough water. Definitely. Like Ber Berlini was saying about it, and, and I noticed it too. Uh, you you see a lot of big bellies. You see a lot yes. of people walking around. Yeah like that young i'm talking about young guys you know yeah. i'd be seeing walking around here like looking like they're pregnant i mean right on, and a lot of a lot of young women well, too yeah you yeah know. young girls and that's from and that's just waste mm -hmm. it's just rotten in in, in, their, in their stomach and they don't eat proper right all they know is uh, uh mcdonald's right <laughs> right <the> chicken joint <laughs> right man and this is terrible man and you need some more positive commercials i feel like advertising vegetables <laughs> right right yeah. well you, you know a lot of companies they want to make money so, right and they want to sell their products you know right and so they kind of get away from healthy stuff ain't that something you know, yeah. in the name of money you know but right we got to think wiser these days oh, we definitely. all must think wiser eat healthier 
and along with that spiritu spirituality plays oh, a role in there also you know, oh yeah on everybody's life i think everybody should take time out uh, daily to meditate you know oh most definitely you know because you know me and my wife we are we have affirmations that we say together Oh, you well, know, and good. that starts our day off, you know, oh, well, yeah, before we leave off to start our day, say those. And, and sometimes I'll be at work, you know, I'll take a uh, little moment, a uh, quiet time and say a little prayer in my mind. Oh, you that's know, good. And meditate a little bit, you right. know, because I, I want to be around for a little while longer. Oh, yeah, <laughs> uh, of course. 54, well, I like to make it 108. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? That's you right. Know, so. You're 54, that's young. Yeah, yeah, so. And and like and like we were saying about the uh, the large stomachs, and and that's because of a lack of water, mm -hmm. because the more water you put in you, then the more power. And I found in the morning, when I'm drinking my, I, I've also found another thing. Uh, you should drink your water warm, or almost hot in the morning, mm -hmm. because it it uh, it goes all the way down to your intestines, and you can drink more of it quicker. Mm -hmm. And it cleans you out better. Yeah. Well, I heard this from a uh, uh, one Chinese guy who was on TV. You know, he channel surf so night. Right. And I, and I caught this Chinese man saying it. And you know, Chinese are very healthy eaters. Oh yeah. You know, and, and he was saying, he said, like people here in America, you guys, you're eating hot food here, hot burger maybe, and you got a pot with all this ice in it. Oh yeah. It's cold. So it's like throws your body off balance. Oh, said. yeah. And I, when I heard him say that, I said, you know what, that makes sense. Yeah. You know, and he says when he drink his uh, uh, beverages, mm -hmm. he says it's always room temperature. Oh, he yeah. He said because your body is a furnace already. Right. You're throwing some real icy cold inside of it. It's got to do throw you off some kind of way. Oh, yeah, because oh, it's got, before it, it, before it goes all the way down, uh, it has to warm up to your body temperature. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess that's how they make that brain freeze thing. You ever had that? You drink something yeah. real cold. And, right. Yeah, right. That, that goes to show you that it really it ain't really good. As well as cracking your teeth up and all that craziness. Uh, right. Eating something hot, then drinking something cold. Right. Man, it's not, you know. And it's just like they drink mm -hmm. a lot of tea. Yeah. Yeah. Hot tea with yeah. their meals. Mm -hmm. And it helps it, it helps your digestive mm -hmm. system. Herbal teas, yeah. Oh, Those yeah. Them herbs are really good for you. And that, that's something I think that... uh. Doctors don't tell you, you know, like, like most people I talk with today, uh -huh. I tell them, I use the doctors to go give me a diagnosis right. of what's wrong with me. Right. And then I'm going to go to the health food store, because like I said, my boy Percy over there, he lets me know, right. you know, all right, this is good for that. Mm -hmm. The doctor told me about my liver. Well, you know, he said, take these um, uh, milk thistle pills. Yeah, and that's real good for the liver. Yeah. And I drink plenty of water. And yeah, I get my alkaline water, water there, you know. So really, that's what I use doctors for. Because yeah. they, they use herbs to make medicine. Right. But on the same token, they put other things in there that causes other effects. Hey, right. That's where I have to read all that off to you. It may cause so and so and so. Right, well, all the side effects. Right. If right. they just gave you the herb itself, you'll be right. fine. Well, they can't make no money off the herb. Right, that's what I'm saying, right. precisely. So people at home, you get wise, think, you know. Let your doctor give you a diagnosis, but you go to health.